Hi everybody, I want to thank you for visiting. What I want to talk about is the magnetochromic effect. It's really interesting. Now the magnetochromic effect occurs when a magnet causes a material to change color. Now here I've got an ordinary uh, ceramic block magnet I got at a hardware store. And here's a piece of this absolutely new magnetochromic film. I've got a surface that reacts to the magnetic field. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So if I place the magnet underneath here, you, you can see the color change that goes from actually from a red to a yellow to a green to a dark blue, depending upon the field strength. Here, let me, let me switch over. Let me use my apple core and create a much better uh, view for you so you can get an idea of what's happening as I rotate this. So here you can see the two poles of the magnet separated by the white line, and then you've got a north pole and a south pole. Now let me show you this. This is a, this is a surface magnetization of two ring magnets. And what I have here, in the large ring is a precision magnet out of a motor, and the small ring is just an ordinary ring magnet. Now in the large ring, you can see that that ring of mag that magnetic ring is actually comprised of many individual magnets and their fields are not very uniform. And on the smaller ring, you can see also that the field at the surface is not very uniform. Now, another interesting thing we can do with this is let's look like two magnets together and look and see what happens. I'm going to advance this under the film and you can see here the white boundaries separating the different magnetic domains where the magnets are joined. Now, let me show you this other demonstration. Cylindrical magnets, and what these are is actually disks. And as I rotate these, you can really see that the magnetic field is spherical. Well, what this means for the magnetochromic film is that what I think we're doing is we're looking at a slice. If this sphere represents the magnetic field around an imaginary magnet in the center, and I'm looking at the slice here, only at a certain angle am I gonna see the particles that are causing the color change. And if I'm seeing those on edge, they're not gonna be very apparent in that plane. Well, I'd love to have you email me with your questions, thoughts, and suggestions. This is new stuff. I'm just playing with it and learning about it. And thank you for visiting.